Hey, what's going on guys? It's Daxi here and I'm bringing you guys a really cool video. I'm super excited because finally, after so long, I think we got my new headphones. We got Nash over here, you know, of course, being a dog. Oh, he's camera shy. Nash, come here. Come here. Oh, look, look, look. Come here. Hey. Come here, buddy. Look. Oh, there you are. Do you see yourself? I don't know. Yo, 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 yo. All right. And he got, he's got his little car. He loves his car. All right. So I got the Amazon package right here. If I'm correct, this should be two things. Should be my headphones and my wireless Bluetooth adapter. All right. So let's open this box. All right. The moment we've all been waiting for. Let's open it up. Oh, there it is. It's the Steel Series Arctis 9X headphones for the Xbox One and Windows 10. Amazing. And then inside, we also got the uh, Bluetooth USB adapter, which is this tiny little thing. My computer doesn't have Bluetooth on it because it's so old. And uh, I just ordered this bad boy, 13 bucks. You guys can find a link in the description to buy one of these. If you don't have Bluetooth, super easy way to uh, to get Bluetooth on your computer. Also, the link to these will be in the description down below if you guys are interested in getting them yourselves. I can't believe that, that yeah. All right, so here we are in my gaming setup. We are uh, reviewing the Arctis 9X headset here uh, by SteelSeries. This is considered an Xbox One headset, but it also has the ability to pair up with a whole bunch of other different devices. One of the coolest additions of this headset here, it actually allows you to connect to your Xbox using the Xbox pairing mode, and then as well as has a secondary Bluetooth option. So as you're playing Xbox One, you can hear the game, and then you can also hear whatever you're playing on your computer. So the reason this is so important is because of streaming and YouTube itself. I mean, it's very difficult to find a headset that you can hear what's going on on the PC so you can hear your alerts and stuff as well as also hearing what's going on in game. So here's basically the overview of what we got here. Uh, we got a cable and for USB charging cable. Shows here that you have Xbox wireless, you have Bluetooth, and here's the part that I'm talking about is the dual wireless. So you have wireless Xbox and Bluetooth at the same time. The battery life is actually quite long, 20 hours wireless and then uh, you have to charge it using your USB charging cable. Your range is 20 feet or six meters. All right, so without further ado, let's get this bad boy open. Now I wanna mention as we open the box here, I ordered the Bluetooth USB adapter and the headphones both on Amazon yesterday using Amazon Prime and they came today, which is pretty much overnight shipping and it was expected to come Thursday and Friday and I'm so surprised that they came today. All right, so here they are. Let's go ahead and open up this box. As you can see, it says this black box here for glory. Here is my first new pair of headphones since I've started gaming. So you see the packaging is actually very nice. It's a plastic packaging, but it's a, it's a durable plastic. So here's your USB charging cable. Here's some protection film. Go ahead and take these off real quick. Here's the headphones in the package. Let's go ahead and take these bad boys out. And uh, there you are. You got yourself your Steel Series Arctis 9s. Now, if you notice um, something unique about these headphones is it has this band here. What this is supposed to do is give it a lightweight feel so you don't feel this steel band around your head. So here are the headphones in full and it, it comes with this green black looking band, kind of adds a little bit of color to your, to your headphones. Now this band, you might say when you put it on your head, uh, uh, it doesn't fit you here's the thing so the way that these headphones are adjustable to fit your head is this uh, rubber piece here the steel series logo you go ahead and take that off the velcro and actually what's super easy is that when you're adjusting these you just pull through you know uh, whatever side that you're pulling through and then you go ahead and pull them back and you just snap that velcro right back on just like that on the inside of the headphones it shows you left here and right here, a um, little tiny thing to help you out. Let's go ahead and take my hat off. Uh, excuse the messy hair, but you know what? I have had the hat on all day. Let's go ahead and throw these bad boys on. Oh my God. Wow. Holy crap. That's what it's like to have real headphones on that aren't broken. I want to become a better gamer than that. Wow. Guys, I'm not going to lie. They are so comfy. Foam earmuffs are just incredible. Let's go ahead and take a look at the microphone. Uh, of course, I don't use the microphone because I talk using my Blue Yeti, but this microphone right here, pull it out. Boom. Now you got your microphone out. Then push right back in. 
microphone gone pretty cool that they have this ability here to just pull it in and out uh, especially if you don't use it like i said i use my blue yeti microphone here so on the back here we got the uh, game to chat volume we got the volume up and volume down of course we got a mute button right here as you see it pops in and out looking down here towards the bottom we have the power button and we also have the bluetooth sync button here's a usb charging cable and here's your 3.5 millimeter aux cable i don't know if these guys came with charge let's test that out real quick Oh, they do. They do come with charge. You got to hold down your button for a while, but they do come with charge. So I just turned it on there. I'm going to turn it off because I'm not ready to sync it up. But all right, guys, um, I'm just going to go over the fact that uh, it's so nice to not have to have this band around your head. Um, I'm going to go over my old headphones real quick. So these are the old ones I used to have, the Turtle Beach PX22s. So I used to do competitive Call of Duty gaming, and so that's why I had to get these that were obviously MLG approved. But like I said, with this headphone thing, if I didn't want to use it and I wanted to put it out my way, I had to put it like this and bend it behind my head. Uh, kind of not really good for the wire, and uh, it's just kind of annoying. The reason I got these new headphones is because one day I came in, and they were actually cracked right here, completely separated. I taped these up. Um, it doesn't really hold too well. And the problem is that with these headphones, you see these big plastic things right here on the side. They rub the sides of your head and it's very uncomfortable. It kind of hurts your head after a while. I mean, it's pushing like right on your temples. Overall, after having these on for a little bit versus these, um, there is a 100% difference of why uh, I would never buy these headphones ever again. So once again, uh, these headphones seem to be absolutely incredible. Um, I'm super excited to try these out for you guys, and I'm gonna do that in this video as well. So without further ado, let's go right into the setup of these bad boys. All right, so here's what we got going over here. Here's the headphones, and here is the controller. Now this, I was using um, this adapter kind of thing because my old headphones were for the Xbox 360, and so the only way that I could get the Xbox 360 um, microphone auxiliary to um, a 3.5 jack that goes into my uh, controller but now because i'm not using this anymore i don't need to even have that no wires no nothing just headphones what you're going to want to do here is go ahead and turn these bad boys on so i'm going to turn them on just like that by holding it down you see that green light up here it's going to flash a couple of times it means it's trying to find something so we're going to go down here to our xbox and we're going to hold the sync button which is on the side of the xbox that's syncing that's flashing Headset has now been assigned. You see that pop up on the Xbox right there. Headset assigned. So boom, mashed potatoes. We now have a working paired set of headphones here. So as you can see here on the headphones, there's this red light here on the microphone. Now when this red light is on, that means your microphone's muted. In order to turn that off, you're gonna click this red, this mute button back here and click that and boom, now it's off. And you can actually see on my screen here, my Xbox One name here is lighting up as I'm talking. So good, we know that that works. All right, so we know these bad boys are connected to my Xbox. Let's go ahead and attach them to Bluetooth. So once again, like I said, I got this Bluetooth USB adapter, cheap 13 bucks off of Amazon, and it came the day after I ordered it. All right, so I just snapped these open here. Here's some instruction manual. This little thing right here will add Bluetooth to your computer if it's old. All you gotta do, plug in the USB. Okay, so here I have my little USB Bluetooth. I'm going to go ahead and plug this bad boy into a USB 2.0 slot because a 3.0 slot actually gets rid of your range. And as you hear my computer right there go ding, 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 we know it's made a connection. It does say in this manual here, if we look through the front page, it says um, up here, for best range, use USB 2.0. USB 3.0 can cause radio interference. So the next part of this is to install a driver for this USB. So uh, it comes with a link inside that owner's manual and you wanna go ahead, type that link in and click enter. So if your drivers don't install for some reason, which they should automatically install, uh, this is where you're gonna be able to find your drivers uh, to install them. Uh, right here. So what I've done here is opened up my settings and typed in Bluetooth and it comes up with this. Uh, if you didn't have Bluetooth before, you'll notice now that you have this little Bluetooth on and off switch and now discoverable as Cougar because that's the name that my computer is under is the Cougar. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our headphones, this little Bluetooth uh, option here, and we're going to go ahead and hold that option down. You can see that light start flashing blue there. So you're going to go to add Bluetooth or other devices and click Bluetooth. So now it's searching and it has found SteelSeries Arctis 9X headset. Go ahead and click that. It's gonna say connecting. Your device is ready to go, paired, and you're done. All right, so now that you've done that, you wanna go ahead and go to speakers down here, right click on that and click open sound settings. So that's gonna open up the sound tab here and you say choose your output device and you're gonna click speakers. Now if this isn't here, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna scroll down. You're gonna go ahead to Bluetooth and other devices. 
it's gonna open this up again you're gonna go to audio and you're going to search for your Arctis uh, Steel Series Arctis 9X headset and you're going to click connect it'll be a connect button right here and you will then be connected and you should see this option show up here also if you want to use your microphone as input for your computer go ahead and click this button here oh my god the sound quality bro it sounds so good and i can play i can hear my xbox and i can hear uh the video that i have playing right now wow it sounds like i'm listening on my surround sound speakers this is absolutely incredible. It, it's so sound canceling. I, I can barely hear things. This is incredible. I have no wires. I'm freaking wireless, bro. I can stand up. I can move around. I can do anything I want. All right, guys. So overall, a very quality headset. Um, I have to say, this is a very quality headset. Um, not that I have much experience with other ones, but um, it's definitely a lot better than my old ones. And um, for that, I just uh, want to say thank you because I wouldn't be able to get these without your guys' help. So thank you guys very much. So for me, it's definitely a buy. If you guys want to check these out, once again, check the link in the description. If you want to see the uh, the USB little adapter, check the link in the description again. I'm a fan. I'm, I'm a big fan of these and uh, I really like them. So uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I'll be back with another video again tomorrow. So if you guys did enjoy this video, guys, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And other than that, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you with a nice old adios.